Hi everyone, I am Penny Astrology, creator of Wacka Witch on YouTube and on Facebook. And today I'm here to give Aries their 2021 predictions. I don't know if you could hear that, that was loud, but that was a motorcycle outside. Um, so Aries, we are here for you today and we're gonna get the good news, the bad news, everything in between. Praying for good news, but if we get some bad news, we are going to take a, an intelligent approach and ask additional questions to figure out what can be done for you. So this is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising. Um, I try to remind people as often as possible that your rising sign affects your real life events more than anything else does. And your sun sign is more about how you perceive those events. And then the moon sign is kind of about how you feel about those events. If you want to also watch your Venus sign video, then that might have a little bit more to do with your love life. And then you can get kind of a love life reading. Um, but we're going to get started with something um, kind of for fun, kind of for similar to what I did last year. And I want to do an animal spirit reading for you just to see which animal's wisdom is going to help you through the year. Now, if you want to get a personal animal spirit reading done on my website, it's going to be only $15. It's just a one card reading, and I'm going to give you the wisdom of this animal and why you need to learn from this specific animal at this time. Uh, it is not the same as a, um, a, what do they call it, spirit animal. It's not the same as uh, finding your spirit animal. There's other ways to do that, um, usually through meditation and other means. But we're just going to get some advice from an animal for Aries right now. And for this coming year, 2021, what wisdom will Aries need? All right. So we got the Jaguar for you. And this card has a lot to do with uh, using your full power in life and having kind of, you know, more than meets the eye, having some some secret powers and some secret hidden talents be able to actually shine through and what I'm getting with this for you specifically Aries is there might be something that forces around you try to keep hidden that's really better for you to be able to expose and it, it really mostly has to do with your talents it might feel like there's something kind of keeping them underneath the curtain kind of keeping them unappreciated, unseen, but these talents, these abilities, these things that make you special and unique, they're what are really going to give you the most power and be able to live your life more fully so you can feel good about everything that's happening so that you can achieve your goals. Um, so that's your advice. If you want to look up more information about the Jaguar, that might be a, um, a good idea as well, something fun to do. And with that being said, we're going to get started with the reading. So I first want to kind of just completely open-mindedly jump into this, see what the spirits want to tell you about that's going to be going on this coming year for you. So what does Aries need to know for 2021? So I have two different ways that I shuffle and I kind of go back and forth between the two of them, depending on which one I feel like is needed at the time. Aries. See, this method of shuffling is faster, so I tend to go back to it a lot. What do we need to know about the Aries? Okay. I'm told to stop shuffling. And the first card we have here is the Moon card. So this shows that there's kind of be, going to be two conflicting sides of you. I know as an Aries, you like things to be more simple, straightforward. You like to cut through the bullshit and you like to get through, to the point. But there's going to be two conflicting sides of you kind of feeling different ways about the same situation. And this is going to have a lot to do with uh, your upbringing and a lot of how your roots and where you came from influenced your own idea of yourself and the type of person that you should actually be. Uh, some of your uh, connections with your family will be making you feel a little bit more conflicted in this coming year. And what's going on above is it, it kind of will feel like a, a one step forward, one step back type of situation 
where you're feeling like you can't make any progress because you're kind of trying to please everyone. You're, you're just trying to do the right thing. You're trying to carry yourself with grace. You're trying to move forward in a way that won't ruffle any feathers, which, you know, if you know anything about astrology, that's kind of counterintuitive to Aries. Aries is the, uh, the sign of war, the sign of controversy. So as an Aries, that's not really within your nature to try to find ways to not ruffle feathers. Uh, but what's going on below is it basically you're going to be fighting for what's yours. So for some of you, this is going to be about fighting for your relationship. It's going to be about fighting for your career. You're going to be feeling very defensively about what is going on. Now, in, in the past, it shows that some of these issues were much easier to brush off. It seemed like everything was good, jolly, and okay. But the, these things over time and the way... Um, you're, the people around you have influenced you and you constantly feeling like you need to avoid upsetting them It's gonna become a little bit more of a problem in 2021 What's happening ahead this this is Them the other party your family perhaps a relationship partner Taking things to a more extreme level basically saying we need an intervention or we need someone else to come in. So for some of you, this is going to mean that someone's going to be actually taking you to court in 2021, or they're going to be kind of like laying down the law in some other way, if, especially if it's your family. You know, of course, it could be court with family, especially if it has to do with inheritances or anything like that. But uh, with family, it's more likely to be of a religious nature in them uh, trying to do some type of intervention for those reasons. So what is going on down here? It's it's going to start with uh, this this whole thing, this whole chaotic endeavor. Why can't you see this card? It's going to start with something that seems like it's an offer to help. It's going to start with something that seems completely harmless, completely, you know, kind, nothing to worry about. And then it's going to kind of you're going to wind up feeling like you got kind of roped into a trap. Um, it, yeah, a lot of them are specifically going to use money as a motivating factor. So some of them might be like, you know, if Aries, if you don't do what I want you to do, I'm going to divorce you. And I'm going to take away your money. Or Aries, if, if you don't do what I raised you to do, I'm going to take you out of my will. It, it seems like someone is trying to use money to... First, manipulate you through sweetness, through kindness, through coaxing you in, but then kind of manipulate you in a more harsh way, potentially giving ultimatums. And then I'm seeing this as you kind of hoping that someone else steps in who's able to help you, which is abnormal for an Aries. Aries is so independent, but you're, you're for once kind of going to be feeling like you can't do it yourself for some reason so that that makes me sad for you aries i know that's not the way you want things to be the by the end of the year you are going to have some kind of big realization and th this is going to be a two-part thing for one it's going to be other people's judgment and determinations about you decisions about you and basically your role in their life. The second thing is going to be your own realizations about yourself, kind of that whole like coming home moment, realizing who you are, realizing what's really important to you. But it does look like throughout the year, there's going to be some kind of legal battle. And if it doesn't have to do with the, the actual like written law with your state or city or whatever, it will more likely have to do with like religious contracts, religious agreements, something that's just really kind of serious and weighing heavily on you. And um, yeah, so I kind of want to get more information specifically about, you know, uh, what's going to be going on with love life and what's going to be going on with career and some of the like the good things and the bad things that are going to go on with that. So this was just kind of the message that they, the spirits, wanted to be able to give us right now that there's going to be a lot of fighting because you're trying to not ruffle feathers, but there's, you know, people who disagree with certain things about the way you're living your life. And it might start off relatively harmless, but it looks like it's going to escalate even though you try to not ruffle any feathers. 
So, I don't know. I think before I do that, I want to ask for just some advice. Like, what can we do to actually make this situation better and to allow you to come out of it happier? Okay. So... Hmm. All right, so this is telling us that in terms of communication, you are gonna need to be a little bit emotionally manipulative, and you're going to have to understand uh, where other people are coming from emotionally, why they are saying the things that they're saying, and kind of find your way in through there so you can get through to them in a better way. If you just talk about your own hopes and dreams and what it is you truly want and you know your, your self-realizations and stuff, basically, if you only talk about yourself, they are not going to respond in a way that is helpful at all. They're probably not even going to listen to you. It's just going to go one in one ear and out the other because um, I, it sounds kind of bad, but these people, they are coming from a bit of a selfish perspective and they need you to think about them and their feelings and their emotions and why they feel the way that they feel. Like hearing about what it is that you want in your hopes and dreams is not going to uh, sweeten them towards you or it's not going to get them to be kinder to you at this time. Okay, so on, on top of talking about their emotions more, you also need to make sure you don't get wrapped up in your own emotions too much. Uh, even though what they're doing is hurtful, you, you need to not really let it hurt you. Try not to let it weigh you down and try to find a way to move on and if there's something that like either in your relationship or could even be your career, um, but more so your connections with other people. I'm feeling like it's going to be more mostly about connections with other people. Just find a way to, you know, move on, start again new. And it's like, you know, if, if you're going to treat me like this, I'm, I'm out the door. I'm just going to move on. And that is what spirit is telling us will ultimately make you happier. Don't be afraid to start over. Okay. So this is an odd one. Uh, your advice card here is the two of swords and I'm, I'm getting, it's just telling you to think very, very carefully about your decisions regarding money. And for some reason that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to keep money matters totally private. Uh, if you keep them a little bit too private, I'm getting that it might somehow kind of like shoot you in the foot later. It might stop further progress um, and it won't necessarily benefit you either. Just be very, very careful about money matters and um, don't be too fast to make a decision about it. But don't, don't feel obligated to act completely alone on it either. Don't feel obligated to keep it hush hush. Huh. I, I, I guess what's really probably going to happen is if you try too hard to keep these things a secret, um, since there's people involved who still do care about you and are trying to have an influence, like they're trying to have a positive influence financially, even though they're kind of in a situation where they're using money to manipulate you, it seems like things will actually end up being worse if you're a little bit more on the secretive side when it comes to money. It's kind of a weird one. It seemed very counterintuitive. Now, last one, emotions. So this is telling us, like, even though we don't want you to get too weighed down by what's going on, we want you to be able to move on. Um, you need to be able to deal with your emotions in a fiery way, in a way that's natural to you. You need to be able to react to things. You need to be able to be a little bit of a, a diva in what's going on here. And you you don't want to spend all this time, you know, trying to rationalize everything. And this includes making excuses for other people, um, being a little bit too open-minded about hearing other people's end of it because you, like, you need to be able to speak to them in a compassionate way. That is important. But when it comes to deciding how you feel, 
they don't get to decide it. You get to decide it. And that's, it's not anyone else's right to decide how you feel. So that is our advice for you to how, for how to get through uh, some of the obstacles you will face in 2021 with a little bit more happiness. And I think I'm just gonna do like, I'm gonna use a different deck. I'm gonna use my wild unknown. And I'm gonna do a super, super general I mean, it's not that general, but I'm just gonna see what's coming up kind of in every area of life. Okay. All right, so there's going to be some changes to your appearance and it's going to be kind of like the um, whole trying to make yourself look more the way you perceive yourself. That's what I'm seeing here. Uh, with money, there's going to be something totally new coming up. So this could be like a, a new business endeavor, uh, growing and starting something from scratch. There's going to be a new stream of income coming in for you. In terms of communication, it's going to be quite a mess. Uh, a lot of the communication you have with people around you is going to be stressful. It's going to be time consuming and it could even potentially feel like it's taking away from other things in your life. With family, there's, like I said earlier, there's some really deep seated issues. There's some things that have developed over time and there's a certain element of control. Now this can eventually become you coming into your own and you taking on more control um, in your own life, but also becoming more respected within your family. Uh, if, if you try too hard to please others or let them tell you how you should and shouldn't feel like we talked about earlier, then this could be your father figure being very domineering. Okay, um, so, so this one is showing kind of like a, a lot of stress and pain going on emotionally and it, it feels like you're kind of losing your sense of self this year. That's how it's going to feel to you. Um, obviously that's not true. Like you're always going to find your way home, especially by the end of the year, you're going to have this like big, beautiful realization about who you are, what's your purpose, what's going on, how you can actually get the things that you want in life. It's, it's going to be a big year for you, but it's going to feel like you don't know uh, who you are. You don't know how to get the things that you want, both in love and in how you actually express yourself. So especially if you're doing anything kind of creative, it's going to make the creative process feel a little bit more painful. Um, and th there's going to be some messy situations going on in your love life. Uh, for some of you, this means that there's a potential of a partner cheating, or maybe you might even just think that they're cheating for a while and you have to figure out whether or not they actually are cheating, but it's going to be a little bit messy. Now, in terms of uh, what is going on in everyday life, a lot of it's going to be centered around creating a stronger foundation beneath you um, and creating a future for yourself and for anyone who you plan to pass your success down to. In your relationships, I am seeing a, a new younger woman coming into your life uh, for for most of you, I'm feeling that this is going to be a friend. This is actually going to be a friend. And this is going to be someone who kind of gives you a fresh perspective on things. Oh, why can't you see this card? It's driving me nuts. There you go. So it's going to be someone who's kind of cute and sweet and bubbly, uh, who lightens up your life and helps you feel like uh, not as bitter especially with some of this other stuff that's been going on. You're going to have someone who comes into your life who helps you feel not as bitter. Um, and then this, this card is telling us that there's going to be some, some scary, some new situations going on in your life. Uh, some 
areas where you've had to kind of step out of your comfort zone. So this has to do uh, with career, with family, with living situations. This is going to be about stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new. And it might feel like it's not the thing that you wanted to do at first, but you're just pushed into it for some reason. Like, oh, I have to stop living in an apartment and I have to move into a house now. But I liked living in an apartment. I was fine with the way it was, but something's going to be pushing you out of your comfort zone this year and uh, really making a big change in your life. And it's gonna be for the better, but it's initially not gonna be something you wanted. Okay, in terms of travel, I'm not seeing a lot of literal physical travel. Um, most of you aren't really going anywhere, but spiritually there is going to be growth, there is going to be travel, and there's going to be kind of new realizations about um, how you identify with your religion and your beliefs. Okay, in terms of career, this kind of goes hand in hand with the other ace card we pulled. So we got the ace of cups and the ace of wands here. And this is saying that there's something very transformative that's happening in your career. It changes the way other people view you and it changes your role in society. So for, for some of you, this could potentially be a really big step up. So it could be the, the difference uh, between being, um, being successful under the, the business structure that someone else has created and being an actual like CEO and basically having a higher status and having the way the world sees you kind of change and transform. Uh, for some of you, this is actually gonna be about getting married and taking on the role of a uh, wife, husband, mother. It's just basically showing that your status and your role in society is transforming this year. So something like really new and positive happening that's coming through for you. <laughs> I'm seeing that this is gonna be kind of like a battle between you and your friends. I'm laughing because I have some very close Aries friends um, so uh, this is this is going to be them kind of nagging you, disagreeing with you on certain things and having their own opinions about what you should and shouldn't do. Um, it, it does feel like it's well intended for the most part, but it could also be stressful. And we have the judgment card come up again. So, you know what, the, the spiritual reason and what's going on beneath the surface for why all of these things are happening in life, it's really for you to come to your own come into your own is for you to come into these realizations about your role in the world and what you're meant to do. So one more thing I want to do before we go is I want to know what is one positive thing and one negative thing about what's going to be going on in your love life and one positive and one negative thing about what's going to be going on financially. And we'll do one that is about your status in the world and one that is about your emotional state. We'll just do all those. So I'm going to start with emotions. What's going on emotionally is that you, you do feel safe, you do feel secure, and that's kind of something that's working in your favor, but your perception of things is totally changing. So what's crazy is that despite all these changes that are going on and things that should and would affect most people in a very kind of draining way, draining them of their energy, perhaps causing depression, perhaps causing them to not want to get out of bed you're actually adapting to the changes in 2021 pretty well and you're able to still you know find your sense of security and feel safe even while these changes are happening and that's kind of in part because you already know how to be your own support system um, now what's going on romantically the good thing that i got is actually that you're getting rid of some stuff you don't need you're getting rid of some of that baggage. You're getting rid of some of that stuff that's been holding you back and some of that stuff that really didn't make you feel satisfied and that really didn't make you happy in your love life. 
the bad thing that's happening is it, it doesn't look like there is going to be how do I say this um you you might end up with a new relationship or a couple new romantic interests in 2021 but it doesn't look like anything's really going to come of it so it's just going to be kind of like okay we got rid of the bad stuff but right now all that's going on in my love life is chit chat like there's there's no there's no big progression there's nothing big that is going on in my love life and it might even feel like things are a little bit dull they're stagnating they're not really moving forward uh, so like I said for some of you I do feel like you're gonna be you know getting married talking about having kids this year for some of you there's gonna be some like really big moves in terms of changing your role but then it might feel like okay we got married and like now it's just like I feel like nothing's happening <laughs> and honestly like uh, no news can be good news for sure but I'm getting the sense that you're just gonna be kind of bored like feel like nothing's really going on at this point so like you're getting rid, rid of some of the bad stuff this year but there's not gonna be any like huge progress or huge change in your relationship uh, in what is going on so um, I, I hate to tell people this in such a generalized video because it can cause people anxiety uh, if, if a breakup is destined for you this year it is for the best. Um, it, it's, it's basically just this year is about cleaning out things that are dead in your love life, cleaning out things that need to, you need to move on from. Okay, now what is going on with money? There's all these weird emotional ties going on with your financial situations. Other people who feel entitled to your money, other people who are guilt tripping you about things, other people who are trying to get money from you. And to, to some extent you do, you, like you feel these emotional connections with these people. You feel obligated to uh, maintain these ties with them. But it seems like there's some like really, really toxic, unhealthy stuff that's going on here. The good thing happening about money is you are the one who's in charge of it. You... Um, I don't I don't want to go too overboard because this this could be more extreme but basically when you tell people to back off for the most part they're gonna back off you are still respected you are still influential and you still have the majority of the say in what is going on financially so if you don't want these people to be involved you still have the power and you still have the right to be able to get rid of them. And this also means that you still have say over your income. You still say, have say over your own wealth and how much money you're going to make. You have a lot of power, a lot of potential and a lot of ability, even it, to come out of a bad situation. If you have a, a little bit of a stumble or something bad happens, you have the ability to recover this year. So there's a lot of like really strong, really good financial potential coming up for you this year. Now, one last thing. Okay, so the positive thing is that, uh, generally speaking, people are going to be viewing you in a positive light. Um, I know there appears to be some issues with family and with people who are close to you, uh, but the the general public, you know, still still admires you. You know, you're still kind of like a shining beam of light to them. Um, and this is good for anyone who's trying to attract positive attention to themselves in their career. Uh, the bad thing that's going on is there's even publicly and even within your career, there's going to be some kind of weird stuff you have to navigate. And it might be kind of confusing to figure out what is the next step. Like, what is the next thing that I actually need to do? Like, you, for example, you had the goal of... Um, becoming CEO and like well to make it super hypothetical because I don't think most people are in this situation but to make it super hypothetical you're already working for the company but you know they're looking for a new CEO and you want to get promoted to CEO and you're trying to figure out how do you get there how do you get from point A to point B and actually accomplishing your goals um, and a lot of that's going to have to do with how you talk to people how you interact with other people and you're like oh great how do i navigate this social situation so it's going to be a little bit confusing but one thing you should keep in mind is that you have you have all this charisma you have all this grace and a good reputation on your side people are looking up to you so a lot of things working out in your favor Anyway, I am so honored to be able to help you along your journey, and I wish you all the best in 2021. If you have any questions about your own personal life, you can check the link below and get an Ask Penny reading. I also offer a variety of reports about love and career, which um, I've gotten a lot of really good feedback on. So 
uh, thank you for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you again. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, share it with a friend. Maybe if you're, you're feeling super, um, joyous about the reading you just got and I will see you again. Bye. Subscribe. It helps her.